Tennessee. Yeah. Trying to see what's going on with my car. I got an oil change somewhere. I think they didn't jack my car up because now it's like shaking, doing all this crazy stuff. So I actually just took it to the real Mazda dealership. I'm trying to see what's going on with that. So hopefully something that can be fixed. I'm trying to save some money, so I took it to this like local oil change place. I got I got an oil change and my air filter replaced, and then like literally right after my car started like shaking and kind of like I feel like it's like it's missing or something when I'm driving it. It's time to go back and, and let them know like throughout the week because I had to get to work and it was already late. I'm trying to get everything taken care of before we head out. I'm waiting to do Sunday, so definitely need my car to be in good shape. I've been waiting to do in, in Tennessee, so. I need for everything to be good. I'm going to be pissed. I think Kahari will be walking by the end of this month, this September. I think hunger. Oh, I think she be. I think she be trying to walk soon. Uh oh. So yeah, we trying to walk. She be trying to go. I don't know where she thinks she going. Where you going? Huh? She don't even know. Yeah, this her song. <laughs> so the spark plugs and the coils or something i forgot what they said it ended up being uh messed up in the car so had to pay for that and it was not cheap um i'm very upset i feel like the people that did my oil change at first messed my car up i don't care what they say i feel like they messed something up because i did not have any issues with my car before the end and i'm just so irritated so but on the bright side at least you know we had the money to pay for it and it's working good now so now we're about to head to Tennessee. I still had other things to do. I still needed to go to the hair store and get a couple of things um, for the wedding, but it is what it is. The boy pumping that gas. Serious. 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 <laughs> <laughs> y'all these are my road trip snacks hot boiled peanuts i don't even really eat these jerry's the one get these but i'm gonna eat some of his and then i got to have a sprite because your girl gets car sick handy dandy fun yes <laughs> yeah Today is the day of the wedding. Um, I got everything prepped last night. I styled her wig already, and I just kind of pin curled it, so it saves me time today. I actually got up earlier than what I needed to because I really need to do like some light makeup on myself or something because I need. I'm sleep. I didn't get no sleep last night. I don't know why I couldn't get comfortable. I'm just really gonna put like some lashes on and some little concealer under my eyes, maybe some lipstick. When I come down here, a lot of people to see. So y'all want to see me come see me should have brought a little jacket or something it's a little chilly outside this morning i guess that fall weather starting to kick in because i walked outside and i was like it's a little cold a little chilly outside and it's like not humid um it's foggy out here too so i can tell i can tell that little fall weather trying to creep on in all right i have made it here I can honestly say I have never been to this part of Shelbyville. That's where it's at, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Um, that's where I'm actually from too. But I have never been over here before. Like this is, it's nice though. I just I never been out this way, so this is new for me. 
But about to go knock this out and I'll be back. Alright, so I finished the wedding. Um, everything went good. I didn't really get any footage of that just because it's not my wedding, so I'm not just gonna be recording in there like that, but everything looked really nice. I have to head back up to my friend's house. Honestly, I'll probably take a nap or something because I have been up since 5 o'clock and I really didn't get any sleep last night. So I'll probably eat something and then um, take a little nap and chill out for the rest of the day. This is my lovely sister, Trista. She's doing it. That is Lala, Falana. She's crazy, Lala. <laughs> that's that's Ariana. <laughs> And then there's Frank. Well, do y'all what's up? Y'all know what it is, Frank. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ayana. You wanna say hey? Nah, hey. Hey guys, so we are headed back to Georgia. We had a little bit of some issues. First, we had um, lost our keys. I threw them away on accident. Oh, we spent like an hour and a half trying to find the keys. Then um, I left my sister's house and forgot Kahari's baby formula. So I had to go back and get that. Now we on the way back home. If it wasn't for me having to do that wedding, I probably wouldn't have came down here because I had the car issues, losing my keys. I've just been sleepy the whole time I've been down there. I just feel like, I feel like we weren't supposed to come down here this weekend for some reason, but it's whatever it's over I'm headed back home it's always good to see my family and friends but we must go back home now came back with the little switcheroo had to switch the hair up because honey these wigs it's too hot for me i can't do wigs right now so i went on wanted to talk about why i moved i've talked about it a little bit on facebook and instagram but i really want to let y'all know like the real reason I moved. I feel like this could kind of tie into my last vlog that I did about, um, what, what was it about? Like, things to know before you move. So this is going to tie in because I told you I was going to come back and tell you why I decided to move to Georgia. Born and raised in Tennessee all my life. I'm from a small town, um, Shelbyville, Tennessee. That's where I'm originally from. I moved to Murfreesboro, which is like 30 minutes from Nashville when I was 18. Yeah, because the day I graduated high school, I was out of there. <laughs> so, I moved to Murfreesboro, and it was straight. I liked Murfreesboro. Um, really don't have too many complaints. Like, it's, it's, it's enough there to do. It's more to do than Shelbyville. So, moved there, um, went to school. I went to college for a year, decided that's not what I wanted to do got into doing hair i've been doing that ever since i love it that's my passion i i'll wake up breathe eat hair <laughs> literally i worked at sally's before i started working at a braided salon i worked there for about six months and then um i got the opportunity to work at the last salon that i was at and i was there for about five five six years Bit my clientele up da 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 after a while i just started feeling stagnant like I was doing the same thing every day I was just doing the same stuff I was just getting tired of it like a lot of people didn't want to do anything different like I would literally post stuff and everybody just want that same thing and I'm like I can't do this no more or it's kind of becoming overwhelming at, at work too it was getting overwhelming because I ain't gonna lie your girl was booked and busy but I just didn't have a life but yeah, I just feel like I didn't have time to do anything. And I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was probably doing too much too because I was actually modeling before that too. I was modeling, so I was doing shoots every weekend. I was working, I was making wigs. I was just doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And I'm just like, girl, what are you doing? So a lot of people were asking like, well, why don't you just move to Nashville? Why don't you just move to like Franklin? I don't wanna be in Tennessee. I've been there my whole life. Like, I I grew up thinking like, dang, is this all there is to life? It's just Tennessee. And don't get me wrong, it's not a bad place to live. It's actually a, a very nice place to live. Like, if, if you wanna go move somewhere with your family that's, I say very family oriented, 
that's a nice place to move i want to do other things i want to experience things i've never lived out of state so i was just like um i was just like i gotta get out i just felt like i was in a little box and i just getting smaller and smaller and smaller and i just wasn't happy i just really wasn't happy um then come to find out i found out i was pregnant literally probably i want to say two or three months before we had already decided we were going to move so jerry's and i were like trying to decide well should we still move should we not and i had my mind made up i'm very stubborn and i i don't like that trait about myself i am i'm very stubborn but i was like we gotta go i'm i'm not staying here and i know a lot of people thought why is she moving is she pregnant because i want to leave and it's my life that's why okay and i honestly was not about to tell anybody i was pregnant until i left i was really about to pull a kylie jenner on everybody but i was like well at least let me tell my um at least let me tell my family so i told them and then i was like you know what i just came to the decision like when it got kind of where i couldn't hold the secret anymore i just told everybody because i'm like you know it's my life yeah, y'all can feel however you want to feel i ended up telling everybody and it was cool i had so much faith in me moving like it was really nothing saying hey don't move because i don't know what religion whoever everybody is watching whatever religion you're in but i put all my trust and faith in god and me moving here has really taught me to trust him with everything that i do because i have been tested i have lost friends i have lost relationships with people i have really found out who cares about me and who doesn't and i don't mean that in a bad way i mean just like there's there's literally people that check on me all the time there's people that i haven't spoken to since i left so you know it is what it is it comes with moving and i'm i'm cool with it i'm a, i'm to myself anyways so i'm not tripping about anything but it just really puts in perspective who is for you and who's not but anyways, I keep getting off subject. So when I found that I was pregnant, that made me want to move more because I'm like, well, I'm about to have a child. And not to say I don't want to raise her in Tennessee, but I want to raise her where she has more opportunities in life to do anything she wants to do. She wants to be a dancer, if she wants to be a doctor, if she wants to be a, uh, uh, what's the people call it, archeologist, whatever she want to do. I want that baby to be able to get all the information she needs. I want them to be able to, um, help her get into her career whatever she wants to do i just didn't get that grown up there's really wasn't that many options where i live i chose um like atlanta or georgia because it's not too far away to the place where black people can prosper i was correct i've literally been here for a year the first part we moved was rough i was pregnant i didn't want to work i had to work um we just went through a lot with our apartment situation and I just kept praying about it. I was just like, you know, God, if you allow us to stay here for a year, you know, we'll stay from there. But, I mean, if we can't make it a year, we'll go back home or, you know, whatever. So, we ended up making it a year, started turning around for us. Now, we're good. Like, so I said, you can't just, you can't just give up when things get hard. And also, you can't listen to other people's opinions about every single thing you do. Because people will, people will want to see you like miserable. They are praying on your downfall. So you really have to, like Big Sean said, his album just came out. You gotta work harder than your demons. And that is the realest thing I've heard in a long time. You really do. Because God will test you and see if this is what you really want. He'll see if this is what you really want. Everything that we went through was a test. I, I can promise you it was a test. And I wanted it. I wanted it. I can't speak for Jerry. He ain't, he's not in here. But I wanted it. I know he wants to. I know he wanted to be here. I, I don't even have to have him in the car to let you know that he wanted to be here. But I wanted it. And there was times I felt like giving up. I wanted to go back home. I wanted to just. Uh, I was like, I miss my family. Da da da. But you know, you have to do what's right for you. You can't. Like I said, you can't always listen to people's opinions. You can't always. You can't always do what everybody else wants you to do. You have to do what makes you happy. Also, uh, we also moved because of the price of living. Like, Tennessee is starting to get kind of expensive. You don't even 
even get that much square footage for where you move. And I ain't gonna lie, where we used to live, our little townhouse, we got a deal. It was three bedrooms, um, three bedrooms, two baths. It was very nice, very, very, very nice. I missed that townhouse so much. It's, it was so nice. And it was 1100, I believe. I think it was like 1100, 1150, I can't remember. But it was so nice. It was close to everything. Like it was close to the little mall in Murfreesboro. Um, everything was around the food. I was literally five minutes away from work. It was perfect. So if I have one regret, it's leaving that townhouse. Not leaving Murfreesboro, it's leaving the townhouse. Because that, it was, it was it. I had a little backyard. So when Athena wanted to go outside, she could go outside. My dog. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the only thing the only thing that I miss about Tennessee. Seriously. And we were just, we were close to everything. I didn't have to worry about going 20 minutes to go to Walmart, Kroger's, everything was in the same vicinity. And I was like, if, you, if you've ever been to Murfreesboro, it's kind of like one big circle. So they have like little stores in, in each area of Murfreesboro, which is cool. Like that's, I kind of, I don't know it's different in Georgia because it's like you don't know what city like you know what city you're in but it kind of like all blends together and they don't have like Walmarts and stuff everywhere which is not important but for me I guess just because I like to eat and I have a little girl I like to be I like to be close to things like that like what if she need diapers and, and we ain't got time to go get them like I gotta go drive 20 minutes to go get some diapers you know Nobody want to do all that. That was that was another thing we decided to move because uh, that price of living is getting to be too much, and it's. Whew, I just feel like you get more um more space down here, more bang for your buck.